Boom! What is up, Wanderers? We are back with another One Take Bag Review. This time we got two bags for you. We're going to be checking out the Ruckus line. Brand new this year from Chrome Industries. And man, oh man, these are good looking bags. A little bit of a departure from what we're used to seeing from Chrome Industries, which is, you know, not always, but usually kind of a blacked out boxy looking with a chrome seat belt. And yeah, this is a little bit more, let's say earthy, a um, little bit more Patagonia LL Bean situation. I like it. I like that Chrome is doing something different and I'm excited. There's four bags in the Ruckus series from Chrome. There's this sling bag and a smaller sling bag. There's this 23 liter backpack and a smaller backpack. We're gonna talk about the bigger sling and the bigger backpack today. All right, so you know what we do on this channel. We do one take bag reviews, which means we're going to do a full walkthrough of the bag, exterior, interior, talk about all the features. Then we're gonna do two things we love about the bag, two things not so much, and then you're gonna get an overall recommendation from me on should you purchase this bag. All right, let's dive right in. We're gonna do the sling first. Skip ahead if you're here for the backpack review. All right, so first off, it is a beautiful looking sling in kind of a really nice nylon material. Uh, think a Jansport canvas bag, but a step up in materials. It's really smooth feeling, um, really nice to hold and touch. Um, they've got the contrasting golden zipper pulls on the bag. You've got a really nice, um, understated, but beautiful chrome um, logo here in leather. Sets off well against this cream colorway. Uh, the bag is available in multiple different colorways. I think the cream, by far, is the best looking variety of this particular bag. All right, you have a nice grab handle here, but not big enough for your whole hand to get into more of a hook. Um, I can get two or three fingers into this. It's not a good kind of grab it and grip it handle. Um, you have some pockets that we're going to get into. No attachment points on the sides of the bag. No attachment points on the bottom of the bag. You have a adjustable strap and a strap that can is ambidextrous, meaning that you can, with one adjustment of this kind of Velcro attachment point here, you can flip it from right shoulder to left shoulder carry, okay? The bag itself fits really nicely, wears really easily. Mm. Yeah, it's a sling. It does sling things. It's a sling and it does sling things. Um, the strap is comfortable. The material is kind of a smaller size, but really robust seat belt material. And the strap is really comfortable. You've got two attachment points on the strap itself right there. All right, uh, and I should say the back is cushioned and there's a, we'll call it a faux air channel situation back here. Um, it's got nice stitching, but uh, yeah, it's not really kind of high tech, super padded or anything like that. But this is also a really light bag that you're not really gonna load out with a ton of stuff. So let's dive into the pocket. There's two, pretty simple, right? The first one is this zippered compartment right here. It opens here and you can see already that we've got this kind of gold interior here. Really nice choice, especially with the cream exterior. You have right here, when you look in, just a pocket that runs to here. So not all the way down the bag. The pocket runs right here. So it's, you know, it's a, a sufficiently sized pocket, but it doesn't drop all the way down to the bottom of the space. I'm not sure why they made that choice. I've got some AirPods in there. I've got a wallet in there. I've got a multi-tool in there. You can fit a good amount of stuff, but again, just know it cuts off short of the bottom of the bag. The color on the interior is just really nice though. And there is some volume to the, the bag itself. Um, it's about the size of, a, we'll say a large grilled cheese sandwich on the fancy bread. <laughs> I hope that makes sense to you. All right, 
let's talk about the main compartment. Fun thing about the Ruckus series, you have this kind of almost full clamshell situation going on with the zipper. You can see on this side, the zipper runs all the way down to the bottom of the bag. On this side, it runs most of the way, which creates kind of a flop over opening. And why does it have a flop over opening instead of a full clamshell opening? Well, the biggest reason is because as a sling, if you're wearing it on your left shoulder and you sling the bag around, you'll get the bag to open up, but not all the way, which means things in the main compartment here in the bottom of the bag won't fall out of the bag. It's a nice touch, but it only works again. It's an ambidextrous carry bag, but it only really works that way if you wear it on your left shoulder. All right. First off, you can see the bag inside is just gorgeous. It's this mustard color and yeah, I'm a big fan of high contrast interiors, but not every high contrast interior has to be day glow orange. It's almost like burning your eyes orange. No, baby blue, sage green, mustard yellow, like bring on the colors, people. We're not afraid of colors. All right. So on the inside here, you have a very understated admin pocket, two pin holders, and then a smaller wallet size holder. I just put a passport holder in there and a couple of Sharpies. And then you have a tablet or tech sleeve that is lightly padded. It is suspended off the bottom of the bag by about an inch. So you've got a little bit of grace there and it is lightly padded. I've got an 11 inch iPad in here outside of a case. We'll come back to that. Then you've got a pocket on the inside here, which again, doesn't go all the way down to the bottom of the bag. You can see the, the stitching stops right here, which is yay short. So both the pockets, the one on the inside and the one on the outside, stop short of the bottom of the bag. Um, don't know what the reasoning is on that, honestly. So what do I have in here? Just my phone and my mustache comb. Never leave home without it. All right, so that's the sling bag. Let's talk about this thing. It's a gorgeous bag. Two things we really like about this bag. The first thing that I think is fantastic about this bag is the colorway, specifically the beautiful mustard yellow interior. Now that is, it just looks rich. It just looks beautiful. So I, I'm a huge fan, like I said, of high contrast interiors. I'm a insanely huge fan of this color combination, like this intentional cream and mustard, beautiful combination. It's understated, it looks classy, it looks beautiful. Really, really nice. Um, so that's the first thing that I very much enjoy about this bag. The second thing that I really enjoy about this bag is the usability and comfort of the strap. It is super fast to change this strap from a right to a left carry. So it literally is a piece of Velcro and, you just, and you, you're on the other shoulder. In addition to that, the strap itself is very comfortable. The seatbelt material is robust and the uh, actual buckle on the strap is very robust. It's not Chrome's gigantic um, seatbelt buckle, but honestly, that would be so overdone on this bag. It would, like, the, the buckle itself would weigh more than the bag. It, so yeah, I'm glad they actually didn't do the buckle on this bag. So those are the two things I love, the mustard yellow interior and the comfort and usability and ease of use of the uh, strap itself on the sling. Two things I don't like as much about this bag. The first one is that neither the outside pocket or the inside pocket on the front of the bag go all the way down. It seems like a big miss to me and I'm not sure why they didn't even just do two pockets on the interior instead of one or, um, yeah, it, or even just one that's horizontal rather than a vertical access here. It seems like a waste to, to not have anything. And then when you load it out, if you don't have anything sitting in the bottom of the bag, like a, a can of Coke or a, a bottle of water sitting at the, all the way at the bottom of the bag, um, then you end up with weight here and no weight at the bottom, which is a recipe for just flop over if you ever set the bag down or even against a wall. So... I'm not sure what they were doing with the pockets there. Um, the second thing that I don't love about this bag, and this is a repeated issue for Chrome and a lot of other makers. We have a tablet 
sling intentionally designed for a tablet that only fits a, a, <clears throat> a naked iPad. And so this is the most popular tablet in the universe. The iPad, specifically the iPad Air 11 inch, that model. But this bag and so many other bags out there, if you put the keyboard case on this thing or anything thicker than the very thinnest folio case, it ain't gonna fit in here. And so it's just too tight. And I don't understand why makers won't just give us one more inch to allow us to use a case on our tablets. Because this is not a robust bag with tons of cushioning and padding. And it's not one that I would say, I don't need a case, I've got this bag. That's just not the case here. No pun intended. All right, so that is the sling. It's good, but it's not great. But I've got excellent news for you all. The backpack fixes all of it. This backpack is so freaking good. All right, let's dive in. And the exterior is going to remind you a lot of the exterior on the sling bag. What do we have? We have a drop pocket up front. Look at that, same drop pocket. What do I have in here? All kinds of fun stuff, blue light blocking glasses. Just some aspirin, my flashlight, all the, all the little doodads that I need on a daily basis. And this pocket fixes what's wrong with the sling pocket. It goes all the way down to about right here. There's a little bit of a crease at the bottom, just a little bit of a crease but it goes so much deeper. It's a much more usable pocket, tons more space. You have a drink holder on the side. Very stretchy, very useful. I even tossed an extra cord in there for with my extra space, but you can see it's got flex, it's got give, it's got stretch. Very usable bottle pocket holder. On the back, much more padding. You've got a luggage pass through, you've got everything you would expect, sternum strap, all that cushioned straps, very nice. The padding is much more robust than on the sling. Good looking back here, comfortable to wear. Nice setup, nice setup. Same beautiful exterior with the understated patch here, the, ye the mustard yellow zipper pulls. Really good looking bag. And the same 75% zip on this bag. Flops open on that side because of the bottle holder doesn't on that side. Wow, we've got a lot of space in here. So what's going on? It's just an upsized version of the sling. I've got a shirt in here. I've got a book in here. I've got my gimbal in here. Got a pocket knife in here. Got a wallet in here. Pen in here. Tablet in here in a magic keyboard case. How about that? full tablet and it fits a big tablet or a second laptop. Very, very generous tech pocket in here. On the inside, again, one pocket, one pocket, and I've got some cords in here and I've got my power brick in here. You also have an interior water, water bottle pocket, water bottle holder. A lot of stretch in it. I used it for storing my gimbal. You could put an umbrella in there. You could honestly do a lot with that interior pocket or you could use it as a water bottle holder. And you have an external access laptop sleeve on the back of the bag that is super cushioned. Quilted material. Feels like a quilted sweatshirt in here. I've got a 13 inch Surface Laptop 4 in there. You can fit a 15 inch laptop back here. Wow, so this bag is really, really good. Two things we love about this bag. First off, the water bottle holder is awesome, as is the quick access pocket on the front of the bag. Both of the kind of quick grab options here using this as a pocket, using this as certainly a pocket, um, really feel nice. Love it, big fan. Second thing I love about this bag is 
the upsized admin pocket from the sling. You can fit a lot more in here and this is a full size tablet holder where you can fit any size of tablet even up to the full 12.9 inch in a keyboard case is fitting in this sucker. Really, really nice. Two things that we don't love as much about this bag. Well, I'm gonna be on repeat a little from our friend the sling. On the front here you have one, uh, one pocket. That's a lot of space to just have one pocket. Give me a second pocket. Don't be stingy. You're charging me $100 for this bag. Give me a second pocket. It'd be really nice of you. The second thing that I would love to see on this bag are more robust straps. Interesting. I said they were comfortable. They are comfortable, but you can get a lot in this bag. It's a 23 liter bag that you can really load out. There is more volume than you would expect in this backpack. So I would love to see a slightly more comfortable, and by more comfortable, I mean just beefier, more padded set of straps and a harness system on this sucker. It's well made, it's good quality, the pieces are fine. I just would like it to be a little bit more robust. You do have a full grab handle on this bag, as opposed to a finger grab handle on the sling. All right, so that's two things we like, two things we don't like as much about the 23 liter backpack. Let's talk about overall recommendations for the Ruckus series from Chrome. Should you spend $100 on the 23 liter backpack or $60 on the larger sling? Hmm, here's my recommendation. The sling is a pass for me. It's okay, but it's, there's better slings for the money. I mean, if you love the colorway, knock yourself out, but just know that with this small sling, you're just not gonna quite fit the tablet. Um, it's gonna be tight, it's not gonna feel super cushioned. And if you're just getting a sling from Chrome that you're gonna put kind of little knickknacks in, what are you doing? Get the Cadet Mini, get the Cadet. Like this is, Chrome makes excellent slings, but this is just an okay sling. Check out Chrome's other slings. But this, this you should buy. So if you're looking in that price range of kind of 80 to $120 for a school or light commuter backpack, I mean, the choices are unlimited. But if you're into simple, if you don't want a million pockets, if you don't want a million specialized knickknack, you know, your AirPods must go exactly here, your SD cards must go exactly here, your AirTag must go exactly here. If you're looking for simple and comfortable and well done and attractive, like me, this is a good choice. I really like what Chrome did here. And I don't always love Chrome bags. Um, I think sometimes they come across as a little bit unimaginative and a little bit stiff and a little bit more utilitarian or functional and they're not a joy to wear and use. But this bag is, the more I wore it, the more I enjoyed it. The cream color, I love. The mustard color, I love. The pocket layout, except for the interior. I'd like to have one more pocket on that inside, but. Man, good bag. I really enjoy it. I think you will really enjoy this bag too. And of the entire series, I think the 23 liter backpack is the winner. And just keep an eye on the site. They do sales all the time. I was just looking this morning and there was a bag that was normally $130 that had dropped to $49.95. So keep your eye on the site. Keep your eye on their Instagram page and yeah, this one's a winner. Love this bag. All right, everybody, that's it. I hope you enjoyed looking at the Ruckus Sling, the Ruckus 23 liter backpack with me. If you did, please give me a like, share the video with your friends, and subscribe if you're new here. Everybody, thank you. That is it for now, and we will see you in the next review. Bye for now.